We cannot believe the picture. This is our reporter, Lori Siegel, her live truck completely covered in snow and ice. This brave woman has been in the elements all night in Chatham, and she joins us with more. How are you holding up, darling? How do I look? Tell me. You know, actually, you this fabulous. snow that's been gathering, you would think I've been out here all night, but I literally ran from the truck to come out here, and it still looks like I've been out here all night, so that should give you a sign of what it's like out here. It's the wind. It's blowing in your face, and it's really, you know, the combination of the snow and the wind. You know, lucky for you guys, we decided to document it throughout the night. Yep, there's another gust. So I want you to check out. We, we take you through our trip to here to see the worsening conditions. Check it out. The snow continuing to pile up here on Cape Cod as fierce winds, frigid temps, and coastal flooding threaten residents of the beachfront homes. Eastern Massachusetts is expected to be among the hardest hit, with blizzard warnings in effect in some areas through the morning. But it's not just the snow that's a concern. Limited visibility is making driving conditions treacherous. We're on the road, it's about 6 p.m., we're about an hour and a half away from Cape Cod, and we're seeing the first signs of the storm. You can see the ice forming on our windshield right here, temperatures dropping pretty rapidly. We actually just passed two accidents. Another car pulled over trying to scrape that ice from their windshield. Into the night, crews out in full force plowing roads, emergency services on call. Stay inside and, you know, stay safe. Don't be out on the roadways unless it's necessary. Sparks flying off power lines and crews are on the ready to respond to outages when the storm passes. As much as two feet of snow could accumulate overnight, with wind chills dropping well below zero and winds whipping at gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Right now I'm holding up our wind meter. We're looking at gusts of wind up to 20 miles per hour. It's only expected to get worse. That's why you see these streets are empty. Everybody is at home weathering the storm. As you can see, conditions have worsened. I've got uh, this wind meter right here. You can see uh, the gusts of wind blowing. Uh, right now we're looking at about 20 miles per hour. It's been higher and uh, conditions just continue to worsen.